Hi everyone. For those I have not had the pleasure of meeting yet, my name is Scott Breckner. My wife Cynthia and I have been attending church at SBCC for I think around four years now. I'm involved in a lot of teaching ministries at church. I'm going to share briefly about one of those uh, at the end of this video. But I'm very happy to be able to share a short devotional uh, with you today. Given our ages and some medical issues, Cynthia and I have been very careful, uh, extremely careful to avoid face-to-face uh, -face contact with people during these last six to seven weeks. We have actually, as a result of that, become so proficient at ordering online. So we've ordered food from restaurants, groceries, other necessities, some of them for curbside pickup and others for delivery. Now we've gotten deliveries before, but never as frequently as we have lately. And with so many orders in the pipeline, it's a little hard for us sometimes to even remember what is coming on what particular day. So several days ago, Cynthia came up to me, I think it was the late morning, and she asked something like this, are we expecting anything today? And I thought about it for a second, and I thought, oh, the comforter. We had ordered a comforter uh, several days earlier. That was the day for uh, delivery of that item. And I don't know about you, but when I know that something is coming in a delivery, no matter what it is, I get a little bit of excitement, a little bit of anticipation. So that particular day, I went to the front door and opened it and looked out on the porch about every hour or so to see if our package had arrived. And it hadn't, so I kept going back, kept checking. I thought about that, kind of went back to the conversation that I had had with Cynthia, so brief. Are we expecting anything today? The comforter. And realized very soon after those words came out of my mouth that I thought about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has many titles, names, um, roles in Scripture. One of them is as the Comforter. In John chapter 14, Jesus said something very traumatizing to his disciples. He said, I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I had been there, if I had been one of the disciples, I wouldn't even have heard to prepare a place for you. I would have just heard, I am going. And I would have panicked and said, what do you mean you're going? You can't go. Or where are you going? Maybe I'll go with you. Panicked. But then in the same conversation, Jesus made a fantastic statement. He said, and this is in verse 16 of uh, John 14 in the King James Version. He said, and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Abide, live, dwell with you forever, talking about the Holy Spirit. And I thought about this, and I asked myself a simple question. Thinking about the excitement, the anticipation that I had when I was looking for the comforter to come in the mail, my question was, when I wake up every morning and get ready to start the challenges of the day, whatever those might be, do I have the same or even much greater excitement and anticipation knowing that the Holy Spirit is going to be with me every second of the day? 
to strengthen me, to encourage me, to comfort me, whatever I need, not just to survive the day, not just to get through it, but to be triumphant for Jesus. My answer to my question, unfortunately, was no. And I thought about that some more and realized that if I actually had that awareness, that sensitivity, that mindset, that the Holy Spirit was with me to guide me every second of every day, that would completely change everything about the way that I look at the world. Peace would replace my anxieties. Confidence would replace fears. And so it made me realize that I have a long way to go in terms of being close to the Lord, walking in step with the Spirit 24 hours a day. And I'm confident that this would change the way that you viewed everything as well. There's a lot of power in the knowledge of the Lord's presence. This then caused me to think a little bit about the flip side of the same coin, of the comfort coin, which is the Lord's ability to use me as a source of comfort for someone else. I thought of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, and in the English Standard Version, the ESV, this is what Paul says. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our afflictions, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. During these challenging times in particular, I have a tendency to kind of uh, just lock in on myself and my family and try to kind of put forth all my energy just to make sure that we're doing okay. In the first uh, sentence of Pastor Rick Warren's very famous uh, bestseller, The Purpose Driven Life, is it's not about you. Well, I don't want it to be all about me, but I spend so much of my energy focused on just trying to maintain and get through the day sometimes that I feel like calling out to the Lord, I hear what you say here and I want to be a strength, I want to be an encourager, I want to be a comforter to those around me, but I have no strength left. I'm just, I'm empty. And so his reaction to me would be, oh, so your gas tank is on empty, you have nothing left? Yes, Lord, I wish it, that weren't true, but it is true. And I think his reaction to that would be, oh, good, well then, I guess we'll just have to make it all about me and my strength in your life then. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. I know for sure that my desire to be used of the Lord has to come from his strength. I have no strength. And as strange as this sounds, I want to be like the moon. The moon has no uh, light of its own to brighten our night sky, but it does a really good of re job of reflecting the light from the sun. So on a clear night, a full moon, we can look up and see beautiful light coming from the moon, even though none of it comes from the moon directly. Well, I want to be like that full moon, no light within myself, but shining forth for Christ because it's all in his strength. That's my desire, and I feel confident that that's yours as well. Finally, I wanted to extend a personal invitation to you. My main uh, uh, teaching ministry at the church right now is to teach the Wednesday night Bible study. And 
we did that in person for probably almost a year, meeting every Wednesday night in one of the kids' crew rooms at church. But like everything else at church, the last five, six weeks, we've done it online on Zoom. The study is not a discussion type Bible study, it's more of a teaching or a, a presentation. And we meet every Wednesday starting at 7 o'clock and we're usually done around 8 o'clock. I would love to have you check that out. Uh, I'd be honored to have you in attendance. And so if you are available on Wednesday and interested, um, I want to let you know how to get connected to that. I don't uh, post the uh, link to the Zoom meeting on the website or on social media just as a security precaution. What I do is I email it to everyone who is interested, uh, usually on Tuesday for the Wednesday night study. So if you are interested in checking that out, uh, again, I'd be thrilled to have you. What you'll need to do is just send me a brief email and you can even do that right after you watch this if you like and just give me your name and that you'd like to be on the list to be invited for the Wednesday night study. That's all that it takes and then I'll go ahead and send that to you each week. However, in order for that to work, you need to have my email address and so I want to go ahead and give that to you. Um, my email address is for his glory and it's the word F-O-R, for his glory, 425 at gmail.com for his glory 425 at gmail.com so I'd love to hear from you even if it's a prayer request or Bible question anything um, I'm uh, always checking my email and would love to uh, be of some help to you in that way so thank you very much for your time today and let's all look forward with great anticipation to all that the Lord is gonna do in our lives as we continue to look to Him, Him only, as our strength. Take care.